Hello and welcome to a new demonstration or workshop or tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can build these um, floor plan images on Datacake that show your sensor data. So first of all, I'm going to create a new workspace for this demonstration. I've called this image map demo, for example, and add a new dashboard. This is an empty dashboard, so we are going to activate the edit mode. We click on add a new widget and in here we select the image map widget. Then it open up, opens up a new modal where you do the first configuration. And the first thing that we do is we upload an image. I selected one, which is a basic um, template or image for that I found on the internet for a fair trade fair of uh, dogs and cats. Press save, just going to be make this larger and then we can extend this here and we can see the first result. Okay, this is the image that I just loaded and I want to place some sensor data here on this floor plan diagram, whatever. I'm going back into the configuration of the image map widget. And then you can see here there's appearance, appearance and data. So we're going to click on data. And the first thing that we do is we add our first sensor. So we click on add device and we select CO2 sensor for entrance, for example, or any other sensor that you have in your workspace. And then we select the field because we want to um, show CO2. We are going to select CO2. Next, you can see already this is the um, CO2 value. Uh, now we are going to also provide a unit, PPM and we're going to edit the position. So this opens up another picker and I can freely drag around the position of the just added um, CO2 image here or the CO2 value. Also, I can make this thing larger and if it's too, or smaller, if it's too small for showing values, it blends them out, but let's make it super large. And then we go into appearance, appearance, and then we can add um, colorizing based on the state. We need to add like 400, we need to make it like this, 800, you see, and we press on save. This has added this um, widget or this indicator here to the floor plan map. And I'm going to add another one simply by going into data, add device. I'm going to select a different one. Also, I'm interested in CO2. I'm going to provide the unit PPM. Uh, edit position. I'm going to drag this on another room here and make it super large. And also I want under appearance, colorizing of the state, 400 and 800, everything from 400 to 800 is green. Above 800, it's yeah turning whatever, orange, whatever you like. Um, we press on save and we can see, okay, in here we've got these two widgets. Um, because it's below 400, uh, it's not green, but um, yeah, we can trigger around that. We can uh, edit this later. That's all you need to do to place individual sensor value sensor data on images. Um, in the end, it will look like something like this, but we also support applications for smart parking, um, building monitoring and industrial monitoring. One of the coolest thing about that widget is that it's interactive. Let me just copy this one here, go into edit dashboard meta, add new one called the step four, and I'm going to paste this and replace this. Just going to delete a few widgets in here to make this a bit larger. And yeah, just drop it in here. And as you can see, it's showing the full plan now. One of the coolest things is that this widget, widget is interactive, means that if you click now on one of those elements, it opens up the sidebar dashboard, which shows the actual mobile dashboard of that device. Same applies to our just created demonstration in here. And of course, it's accessing the same CO2 sensors, so it's the same data. Yeah, this is how you can use our floor plan demonstration things, uh, the floor plan widgets on the Datacake platform. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.